So my name is Chang Chang. I'm the uh, chef owner of Narita Restaurant. Uh, originally from Hawaii, and uh, Narita has been open for just over five years now, and we are doing a modern take on Hawaiian cuisine. So in the in the very early days of opening Narita, you know, obviously having a Hawaiian restaurant in, in any form or shape, right? Especially in New York City, is always a, always a, you know I always thought it was, it, it's, it's a challenging feat. Um, I think in Hawaii back in the day, I, I, whether you know it or not, there was a this was an era where it was called the uh, plantation era in Hawaii, right? Where um, workers were brought into Hawaii from several countries around the world, Asia, Japan, even, uh, you know, the Philippines, you know, m many countries just to work the fields in Hawaii, the pineapple, the sugarcane fields. Um, and then during those times, those plantation workers from all various countries around the world, Asia in particular, uh, created their own personal cuisine, right? You know, to, to bring to work in the fields, lunch boxes and whatever, and they started cross-sharing that information, that culture, that food amongst each other. And so they started creating this kind of amalgamation of different cuisines, right? That became what Hawaii cuisine is now, which is a combination of different flavors. All right, and one of the uh, few things that are really popular in Hawaii are musubis, which is basically a, uh, uh, a meat, usually a spam, slice of spam, wrapped in uh, a nori with some rice. It's kind of like a... Uh, modern interpretation of a sushi without having any fish. So in Hawaii, you could, you could buy these musubis in uh, stores, 7-Eleven, uh, little mom and pop stores, you know, across the, across the island, uh, and anywhere where you can just grab something real quick just to eat, you know, be, just to take to the beach or just to go and eat and walk along somewhere before, you know, you go to work or something. So on our menu, we have uh, several varieties of, uh, or many, many varieties of the musubi. And uh, today we're gonna do a, a couple of versions of that. In addition to a uh, dish that is called lokomoko. Uh, traditional lokomoko, well, traditional or not, but one of the most popular lokomoko in Hawaii is usually a hamburger patty, uh, fried eggs over rice with uh, brown gravy. Uh, we're gonna do one of our uh, versions of it which is uh, Mochiko Chicken Lokomoko. It's a little tongue twister. And uh, what it is, is we take a uh, brown chicken meat, bread it in Mochiko flour, which is a uh, Japanese style uh, sweet rice flour. So it's gluten free. We'll bread, we'll bread it in that, fry it, and then we're gonna serve it over rice with uh, Hawaiian style macaroni salad and some gravy on top of that with a fried egg. I spoke earlier, we have a marinated brown meat chicken leg. Uh, goes into the mochiko flour. All right, so we'll uh, just place it here for a second. Adhering to Hawaiian traditions, you gotta have two scoops of rice. How big they are, that's not a written rule. So we have two scoops of rice. Uh, we do one scoop of uh, Hawaiian macaroni salad. It's a Hawaiian style because you know we, we like to overcook our pasta. So this is you know really soft, tender pasta with a lot of mayonnaise. So we're gonna have this chicken. So this is the uh, the mochiko fried chicken. So all of this goes over this uh, one egg. And then we have a uh, brown chicken gravy. First of all, no one really knows anything about Hawaiian food, especially in New York City being, you know, one of the furthest states away from Hawaii of, of all places, right? Um, so by wanting to introduce Hawaiian food to New York City, that's already a big undertaking, you know, just to kind of introduce that to everyone and to actually uh, give them something closer to what we know as Hawaiian food in Hawaii. As you know, Hawaiian food in Hawaii is very diverse as is. So to kind of interpret that in a way where you know, everyone will understand and accept you for the food that you make is already a challenge. So once uh, the pandemic hit, uh, especially, you know, the effects to restaurants, it became quite challenging for a lot of us because um, the restaurants really depended on people gathering and getting together and, you know, sharing food, right? That's what restaurants are about. Getting together, having a drink together, sharing a dish together. And without that, that actually happening, 
restaurants couldn't survive without all that support from the people in the neighborhood and around you. So the, the first shutdown was, was very, very challenging because you know, there's nothing we could really do and no one really knew what was going on. So right now uh, we have basically five tables outside, uh, partitioned by curtains curtain, we can't have uh, closed uh, barriers. And we have uh, several heaters in each individual uh, units that we have outside for uh, customer dining. Um, so at, at this point, this is where we are, and this is what we need to do to uh, keep moving with our restaurant. All restaurants in New York City and basically all around the country need a lot of support from, from people like yourselves and people from all over the country. And one of the biggest programs that are running around us right now is called the Roar Program, R-O-A-R. -R, and they are a uh, alliance uh, where they take donations and support from everyone and uh, help restaurants out by helping them survive. So wh whatever you can do to uh, help donate, uh, visit their website, and uh, that will help us all uh, continue moving, doing what we do. So you know, please come by, you know, support all restaurants, uh, come by Narita whenever you can. Uh, anything you can do to support us, uh, whether it's donations, you know, order out delivery, come into our, uh, you know, the, the minimal tables that we do have here. Uh, just come by support and uh, that's the only way right now uh, to, to keep our restaurants going.